we're asked to determine the sum given in sigma notation. We have the sum from n equals 21 to 60 of two plus three n. We should be able to recognize we have an arithmetic series here because the formula is two plus three n where the common difference d is three. But let's go ahead and generate some of the terms of this series. Notice how the first value of n is 21 and therefore the first term is two plus three times 21. The next value of n is 22 and therefore the next term is going to be two plus three times 22. The next value of n is 23 and therefore the next term is two plus three times 23. Of course this continues. But let's go ahead and find the last term of the series when n is equal to 60. And therefore the last term is two plus three times 60. And now let's simplify. Three times 21 is 63. Two plus 63 is 65. Plus, next we have three times 22, which is 66. Two plus 66 is 68. Plus, next we have three times 23, which is 69. Two plus 69 is 71. Plus, and then the last term, we have three times 60, which is 180. Two plus 180 is 182. So if we didn't recognize it before, we should now recognize we do have an arithmetic series because the terms are increasing by three. So let's make a note over here, the first term a sub one is 65 and the common difference d is positive three. Remember if we needed to, we could determine the common difference d by using the formula d equals a sub n minus a sub n minus one, which means we can find d by selecting any term in the series except the first term and subtracting the term before it. Notice 68 minus 65 is three, 71 minus 68 is also three. And we know the last term in the series is 182, and therefore a sub n is equal to 182. Now we need to determine n, the number of terms in the series. Well notice how the index goes from 21 to 60. So we might be thinking we should take the upper limit of 60 and subtract the lower limit of 21 to determine the number of terms. But 60 minus 21 is 39, which is not the number of terms. There's actually one more term or 40 terms. To better understand this, let's look at a simpler example. Let's say we have the sum from n equals one to four of n. If we expand this, we have one plus two plus three plus four. We can easily see we have four terms, but if we take the upper limit and subtract the lower limit, we have four minus one, which is three. But again, we have four terms, so we do have to add one to get the correct number of terms. And now we have all the information we need in order to determine the sum of the arithmetic series using the formula S sub n equals n divided by two times the quantity A sub one plus A sub n. So the partial sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic series is equal to n divided by two, which is 40 divided by two, times the quantity a sub one plus a sub n, where a sub one is 65, and a sub n, which is really a sub 40, is 182. So we have 65 plus 182. Simplifying, we have s sub 40 is equal to, 40 divided by two is 20, 65 plus 182 is 247, and 20 times 247 is equal to 4,940. This is the sum of the series. I hope you found this helpful.